What's going on? It's Ben here from Flick with an exciting update and announcement of a new feature that is live on Flick right now. The feature is called Open Benchmarks. And what it allows you to do is compare how your account is performing across all of the different stats that Instagram collects. So you can see how your stats stack up to other accounts of various sizes to give you an idea of how you're doing and see opportunities for improvement. So as content creators, social media managers, and business owners, we're all obsessed with our stats. But without the context of the bigger picture of what this really means, it's a little difficult to see what our stats are actually telling us. So this tool is super helpful to help provide some context and see how you can improve. Although we've all heard the expression that comparison is the thief of joy, kind of like stalking your ex's new boyfriend on Instagram, that's not the case here because all this information is gonna be very helpful to help you modify your strategy and approach to Instagram to help get growing faster. So Open Benchmarks is a completely free tool that is live on Flick right now. So what we're gonna do is hop into it and walk through how you can use all this information to really help you get a better strategy and get growing on Instagram faster. So this right here is Open Benchmarks. And finally, you can now uncover how your Instagram analytics compare to accounts just like yours. And it actually shows so much more than that, but we'll walk through that in this video. And for your benefit, a blog post is live that has a ton more valuable information and resources on how to best use benchmarks. And it's linked in the description box and pinned comment of this video. So go ahead and check that out. I highly recommend it. So let's scroll down and see the stats that make this tool so valuable. So as you can see right here, you can source all the different information and stats that we're gonna walk through specific to account size. This makes it great for a really accurate comparison to your situation. So hypothetically, let's say you had 6,000 followers and you only wanted to compare your stats to accounts that had a similar amount of followers. You can then click this follower range and then all of the information underneath will be specific to accounts between 5,000 and 10,000 followers to give you a very accurate picture of how you stack up. You can also filter the information based on a timeline. So you can pick the last 30 days, last 90, last 180, or the last year. So you can get very specific with the information that you want to source. You can also go a little more broad if that's what you wanna do by clicking something like all, and that's gonna source all of the different accounts from various sizes within the data set. So as you can see right here, that's 45,000 accounts, and that is all from Flick users. So currently we're sourcing all this information from Flick users, but we are working to expand that to get even more information at your disposal, to get an even more accurate picture of how you're performing. But even right now, we have a ton of accounts that we're sourcing this information from to give you a very good picture. So we start off with the account overview, and this section is really the top level view of how your account is performing. So currently we're looking at all of the accounts within the data set and it shows you a 2.2% follower growth rate over the last 30 days. So this is a great way to see how you're performing and how your followers are increasing over time, comparatively speaking to other accounts on Instagram. But what I also really, really love about this right here is the fact that you can see either an upward or a downward trend. So as you can see right here, it's down 14% over the last 30 days. So this is a great tool to see if potentially you're experiencing less follower growth than you normally are. You can come in to open benchmarks and see if that is an Instagram wide thing. And that information can really help to ease your mind because if everybody across Instagram is experiencing the same thing, it's not really you or your strategy, it's just an Instagram thing. So in this situation, comparison can actually be great for your mental health and your Instagram strategy. So scrolling down further, the inf other information that you can see is conversion rate, click-through rate, people reach, profile views, et cetera. So within here, some of the really important numbers to consider is say conversion rate. So what this number is, is how many people are visiting your profile versus how many people followed. So if you can come in here and see that your number is substantially lower than this, this could be a great opportunity for a quick win and a primary area that you should focus on. If your number is a lot lower than here, you should probably work to optimize your profile, whether it be your profile picture, your bio, the first post they see, et cetera, to really try to get this number up. This is a great opportunity for improvement and you can see right here quickly if your number is far lower, that's what you should focus on right now to get a quick win. You can go even deeper into each insight by clicking see detail insights. And this opens up a very cool tool that allows you to compare how different account sizes are performing. So right here we have 25 to 50,000 clicked. If you wanted to compare it to five to 10K, you could just click that here and then the two lines would show you. The blue is the 25 to 50. And you can see right here, it's consistently getting a higher conversion rate. And then the purple is five to 10K. So this is a great way to compare and see where things can go and also see how things are performing within your range versus accounts that are bigger or smaller. And if you scroll down, you can also see a breakdown over time to give you an idea of how this specific stat has been changing over time on Instagram. Moving back over to the main section of open benchmarks, if you scroll past account overview, you can move into the next section, which is feed posts. So we're sourcing stats from across all the different places where 
where Instagram collects statistics, like feed posts, stories, hashtags, all that good stuff. And it's all sourced right here for your comparison and for your benefit. So you can see right here, feed post information is gonna be sourced and you can see your engagement rate, your reach rate, number of posts, average post reached, average engagement per post, et cetera, et cetera. So this is gonna give you a great idea of how your specific content is performing and how it is comparatively speaking to other accounts. And just to provide another example of why this information is so valuable is if you look at the account overview section and you notice that a lot of your stats are substantially lower, like say you're reaching far less people than the average, you're getting far less profile views, you can then use the other information that's here to see how you could improve that. So for example, if you're if you come down to number of posts, you can see that the average user that's getting this much reach is posting 11.8 times per month. So if you know that you're posting far less frequently than that, that could be the problem that you could then change to improve all of your other numbers to get closer to the averages that the other users are experiencing. It may just be a problem of you not just posting enough and these numbers allow you to outline that and then change your strategy. The next section is story posts. So you can even see information specific to your stories and their performance. You can see the completion rate, number of stories, slides per viewer, average impressions per story, et cetera. And the final section is hashtag usage and performance. So you can see that the average user across this whole data set is ranking on 17.7% .7 of the hashtags that they use. You can also see that the hashtags per feed post, they're using on average 22 hashtags per post. And the total time spent ranking on hashtags is 600 hours. And like with every other insight, you can see an upward or a downward trend over that time period to give you a really good idea of how things are performing right now or how they have in the past. So after that walk, through in a few examples of use cases, here is a summary of how you can use open benchmarks to grow on Instagram. What you're focusing on and trying to improve will really depend based on your specific situation and the size of your account, but this information can really help you outline some quick wins as well as some areas that you should focus on improving upon over time. A great way to outline some quick win opportunities is to go through all the different insights and see the areas where your account comes in below average. This is a great opportunity for something that you could potentially change very quickly to see some instant impact and improvement. Take the time to really go through each sections of open benchmarks. So starting off with account overview, feed content, story content, and hashtags. Take the time to really go through and analyze each set of insights to see where you're currently doing well and where there's opportunities for improvement. And this will give you a way better idea of where you should be focusing your time, effort, and attention on Instagram. So once you've outlined these areas for potential improvement, put a plan in place to actually improve these numbers. And the great thing about benchmarks is that you can come in and check in over time, whether it be weekly or monthly, to see how your stats are improving, as well as see how they stack up compared to the other users on Instagram. So use the stats to outline opportunities for improvement, put a plan in place, execute that plan, and then use benchmarks as a guideline to see how you're performing over time. Instagram growth is a marathon, not a sprint. And this information can be a great resource to really see how you're doing and give you a broader perspective to give you some more clarity and context to how your account is performing over time. So open benchmarks is live right now for you to use, and it is linked in the description box and pinned comment of this video. So go over there, check out your numbers, see how you compare to other Instagram users, and be sure to share open benchmarks with your fellow Instagram users and friends so they can see how they compare as well. So go check out open benchmarks, keep crushing it on Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe to Flick's YouTube channel for more Instagram specific content. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.